Hi guys, Steve the Transit Camper. Welcome to the channel. Today, or tonight, we are sleeping in the Dutch army tent in the back garden. We're not able to get away tonight, so I wanted to sleep somewhere nice, so we're gonna do it in the back garden. It is raining, I've set it up, and I've put the tarp on the top, as you saw, and I'm hoping that'll keep it dry. Baby is really, really enthusiastic about this one. There she is. So dead excited to do this one. And we've decided that we're gonna cook in baby summer ice. So that's good as well, isn't it? So we stay nice and dry and then into the tent. And we'll probably have a few drinks and watch the sunset. Quite romantic, I thought. Catch you in a bit. Half past eight at night. And we're heading to the summer house with Cat the dog and some burgers. So this is very much glamping, heating, pudding, burgers, Cat the dog and Mrs. Baby. So we could just go to bed like normal people and enjoy a nice comfortable night in a nice warm house in a nice warm bed. But we thought, no, we'll do something different. It's a Saturday night, plumber's coming early in the morning, so I need to be here. So we thought we'd do this bit of glamping. Looking forward to these burgers. Cat, as usual, just will not settle. Cat, get Cat. in. Cat. 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 Gone again. In. She hates being trapped. Get up on your bed. On your bed. No, no knees on your bed. On your bed. Yeah, blocked nice. You can't do that, can you? Oh, the block has gone in. We finally got her up on her bed. Lie right, down. Right on the edge. Right on the edge. She'll be back down in a minute. Just, oh, she's being repositioned. Yeah. Just look. What's all this spreading paws up? Lie down. <laughs> look, it's nice. Look. Oh, nice and soft. Will she stay there? I doubt it. So if you watch the channel, you'll have seen our SKT2K, bit of a mouthful. But basically, it's a fully adjustable table from Go Outdoors, and it's fantastic. And it comes in a nice bag. Sonic. Sonic. Looks the business. Is that what it says on the table? No. No. That's the model. It's a good table, though. So we were all settled. And we've realised we've got to go and get... Oh, careful. That's <laughs> We're in baby shed here, so it's strict rules on what you're allowed to touch and what you're allowed to move. But I have now got to go and get the slate to put the cooker on. So we've got the slate and the blind goes back down once again. It just catches the edge of that table there on its way down, doesn't it? Right, let's see if we can settle without having to move again. Baby has just pointed out that it's got bird muck on it. But I don't care about stuff like that, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> Baby's face is like, I'm not going back in the eyes to get a cloth, surely. Oh, this is my little lodge, look what I've got. Oh, in her lodge, she's bound to have wipes. Yeah, guaranteed. Perfect. <laughs> so we are using the BCB stove. Mine. Baby's. <laughs> <laughs> and I have got some fire dragon gel, which is amazing. 20 to 25 minute burn time on one 40 mil fill. Do you fill it up? Yeah, fill it up. That will burn forever. There we go, we'll strike that up. Boom, bushcraft. Straight away, I put my frying pan on the BCB. Baby, is that clean? You like Jason with your hygiene, it's fine. I agree with Jason, there's nothing wrong with being hygienic. Yeah, but I've cleaned it out. Yeah, but you just said that about the table and the mat, and this was filthy. And the mat was got bird poo on it. <laughs> 
So the burgers are on. I'm just looking all the way around here. And I think, baby, that curtain is going to have to go up again because I've forgotten something else. No, it's locked now. That's it. We're on lockdown. But I've forgotten the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> this is the trouble when you do garden camping. You take it for granted that you've got everything because you know you can go back. I should have checked and double checked. Right, I'll go and get the bread. So these are homemade burgers with baby's secret recipe. And we used the burger press that you've seen in another video. We have got the pineapple light on. We've got the overhead. And the burgers are looking good. Fine wine for the lady. Thank you. And honey jack and coke for me. Well, this beats being in the ice watching tally, doesn't it, baby? Baby? Yeah? This beats being in the ice watching tally, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is interesting, baby will always cut her bap and butter it, whereas I don't. So who's right? Do you have butter on your bap or don't you? I don't think you need it with a burger. And we always choose to have raw onions on our burgers. I like a bit of everything. Baby's saying I banked one of her cheeses on mine and I've added the only two that were left of the other cheese. I don't think that should come on later. What? You've just thrown rubbish down there on the floor. Oh my and God. The cheese packet and there's a bin there. Oh my God. It's like the police. It's because I'm in baby's shed. I've got to behave myself. It's my lodge. It's not shed. even a shed. I'm even getting the name wrong. It's baby's lodge. <laughs> I'm a guest. <laughs> Baby doesn't have salad. She just has mayonnaise and onions. Wonderful. I like to start with a bit of salad, a bit of raw onion and some hot pepper sauce and then my burger. Full metal jacket. There she is. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Mm. It's like yours, baby. Mm -hmm. So naughty cat, aren't you? Yeah, you've got something as well later. That is one strange dog. Any little bangs, clanks, tin noise, anything like that. Hates it and that's why she won't come in. Look at her. So nervous. I don't know why. Baby's here to protect us both. Baby's about to start the fire for number two. She hasn't filled it up this time, which I don't think will be enough. But it's just been for like 10 minutes after the burgers were cooked. That's true. Okay, <laughs> let's give it a go. So just looking in the garden there, because of the high cost of fuel, that hot tub went off about six months ago. Probably, yeah. Yeah, about six months ago and we emptied it because it was just getting ridiculous. We were using it reasonably regular, but not enough to pay a hundred pound a month to keep it hot. So we backed off from that. The prices are starting to come down, so that'll be back on when it's sensible to do so. There's the tent looking good. It was a little bit windier earlier on, but it's settled down now. Couple of burgers gone in. So this definitely beats taking you for a posh meal somewhere, doesn't it? And drinking fine wines. This is more like, this is more like, isn't it, baby? <laughs> Cat's going round hoovering up, looking for whatever's been dropped. What she doesn't know is I've smuggled out some frozen chicken nuggets, which we'll be going on after our second burgers. I'm 
not sure when this video comes out, but we will be heading off to France soon. We're going through the tunnel and I will do a separate video of how to book the tunnel. I've explained this before in another video. How to book the tunnel, what happens when you get there, where you go to. Baby's taking a mickey out of me while I'm doing this. It's doing hand signals because I'm doing this, but below the camera. So it'll be uh, how to book it, how to sort your tickets out, what you do when you get there and how easy it is to get to France and what to do when you get the other end. And it is so easy. I'm taking Kat on the 9th, is it? She's got to go for a AHC check, I think it's called, which means she's got to be checked over by a vet. It's just a scam, 45 quid for a vet to stand her up and go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a CT scan or anything crazy like that. And to give her a worming tablet, 45 quid, unbelievable. So she's got to have one of them before she goes. And she then won't, she won't take the tablet off the vet anyway. No, so you have to give it to her. Yeah, she won't take it off the vet anyway. She'll barely take it off me. If baby tells us she's taking the tablet, she'll take the tablet. And then when we come home from France, you have to get another worming tablet done by a vet in France. Which and they don't give that. No, and two <laughs> years ago, the vet once again failed to be able to give her the worming tablet, and we had to do it. Massive scam, but there you go. How much, how much do we have to pay? About 45, 50 quid for the vet to watch us force Yeah, full so we're paying a, a bloke to watch us force speed our dog with a tablet. It's just unreal, <laughs> really. <laughs> that sky doesn't look very promising. I am hoping it rains, to be honest, because I like the sound of the rain on the tent. That's why I put the tarp over it as well. Baby, you're not so keen on that, are you? <laughs> no comment. I like it. So this is where we're checking in tonight, folks. Superb. Pan's looking a bit burnt now, but cats have gone in. Number two. Mm. Exquisite, oh, it's all in my hand burning. That is a very hot cat, be careful. She's risking the heat just to get them outside so they can cool down. Clever girl. Every camp, whether it be glam camping, stealth camping, van camping, requires a pudding. This is one I prepared earlier. <laughs> I bought this yesterday because baby went out without me. She's been organising a lot of nights out with friends and uh, it's a no, no partners night. So I picked her up, a friend, and uh, took him and her to the restaurant last night. <laughs> it was a girlfriend. But I took them to the restaurant last night. She jumps in the car, she says, hi, Steve. I said, don't speak to me. I wasn't invited. And I hope your food's cold. And I hope you, it's horrible. Anyway, this is pudding. All right, baby. Yeah. No comment. It is comment. Did you? Yeah, I spoke. I answered your question. She did. Anyway, she's promised that she's not going to organise any more nights without me. I didn't organise it. Well, she's not going to go on any more nights without me. She is. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is really nice. Dirty. I don't know whether you can see the size of that. But that is a substantial trifle, which I failed on last night, which annoyed me really. But I had had four chicken wraps, two chocolate mousses and a chocolate trifle. So I think this was a tall ass to eat this as well. Were you comfort eating? Because I wasn't there. I was, I was comfort eating. I was crying into my yogurts or my mousses. Cat's eating her nuggets, you can hear her dropping in and out. I'm seeing the beard, looking good. And that was absolutely delicious. It's getting dark now. I am going to show you the time lapse from when we came in cooking to when it gets pitch black and then I'll end it there, but that'll be our overnight time lapse. It is only a short video, this one. I'm just trying to prove that you can have a bit of an adventure without going far. Uh, Tim from, what's his name on his channel? I keep forgetting. 
Simple Outdoors. Simple Outdoors, well done, baby. Tim from Simple Outdoors was explaining that even if you've got disabilities and you just can't get out, set something up in your garden, set something up in your porch where it's warm, wherever you can. Just put a video out for the Stealth Camping Alliance monthly challenges because we love them. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter whether you're stealth camping or a big Hollywood video like uh, Yoda did. I really fell for that. I thought he was actually driving that car through the jungle. I was really concerned on that crash. Anyway, let's get tidied up. So it's half past 10. We've had our last chance for the loo. And now we're getting in. Shed's all closed up. The shed, can't call it that, summer house. We interrupt this video to show you some of the highlights of the climbing hut where baby and the boy went the other day. How much was that, baby? 15 pound each, I think. 15 pound each, you've got full instructors there, all very safe, the climbing hut in Shoesby. Fantastic, I'm gonna go next time and embarrass them all. Anyway, back to the video. Right, here we go. Very hard to film with one hand. <laughs> Go on in, cat. Cat's in first. I'm first. Gotta be first. Gotta be first. She knows. Right, I've got the M90. Cat will be in the bottom of there. I've got the M54. <laughs> Baby's got the M54. She's got like an army style, but it's not military. But it is warm. Did you just snort? No. Well, somebody went. Well. You better open his up and see who's outside then, because it wasn't me. I'm in the M90. It is gorgeous. And I will definitely be warm. I've not got an air mattress. I've done an air mattress for baby though. And there we are. We love our Dutch army tent. Superb. It's not going to be too cold tonight, but they reckon it'll get down to 10 degrees. 
I have just heard a load of fireworks, so there must be something on in Shrewsbury. No, there Last... isn't. Yes, there is. Lasted about 10 minutes. Five. Five. But I didn't get to see him anywhere because I was upstairs. But we are now settling down. And uh, like I said before, you'll have the time lapse. No, so you won't. A... Yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a bit of daylight on. That's better. I've got my torch on my head and everything's cool. That's his baby. That's baby's hands. Let's show you baby. Ridiculously snuggled in, but she loves that sleeping bag. And Kat is at my feet somewhere down there. And she's already curled up. Right. We are going to say good night and we'll see you in the morning and see if we settle and sleep. So it's good night from me. <laughs> Babe's asleep already. No comment. See you in the morning. <laughs> Half past one in the morning and we have got our rain. Love it. Are you awake, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you like the sound of rain? No. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the cat's got out of my sleeping bag. She's now lying on baby's back. Tramping all over for 10 minutes. <laughs> Trampled all over her for 10 minutes and she's lying on her back. Oh, it's really coming down now. Love it. And good night. <laughs> Good morning, 5.14, baby is asleep, no she's not, it is starting to get light outside, I'll poke the phone through the tent in a minute and show you, but we are going to get up pretty early doors because as I said we are expecting a plumber and he's going to be here at 7 o'clock, so we're not going to mess around. I had quite a good night, it rained quite heavy at some points, but only for like 10 minutes at a time, and then it stopped. But it has been a good night's sleep. Have you been comfortable, babe? No comment. I think she's been quite comfortable. Cat has been nothing but a pain in the bum. And she is behind my back now. Cat? Cat? I said she's been on me. Did she ride me? Nah, she's been on her. I love her to bits. Right, let's. Here's Cat. She's moving. Cat! Cat! She's not coming out. I'll show you her in a minute. This is where Cat managed to get to. Look. Right underneath me. And she is all cutched up. Right, let's show you outside. There's the gap. Here we have it. Daylight. That is cool. So there we are. So we are going to get up and go and get ourselves sorted ready for the plumber and we will see you next time you've been watching steve the transit camper and baby in the garden just doing summer ah the usual on a saturday night wave bye bye baby <laughs> do it again there we go see you next time folks thanks very much